Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an N-Scale 282 USRA Mikado locomotive for model power. My example is decorated for Southern Pacific. SP did not have any USRA 282s, so the locomotive is not accurate. The tender does follow an SP prototype. The model is numbered as a Texas and New Orleans MK5 class 282, and with the SP tender makes a reasonable stand-in. TNNO was an SP subsidiary that operated in Texas and Louisiana. The model is also available in other road names, some of which have more conventional coal tenders. Model Power offers the model in two versions. The DCC Ready version has an MSRP of $224.98. The version with DCC and MRC sound has an MSRP of $294.98, minus the DCC Ready version. The black paint is thin and opaque. The black on the cabin tender has a slight sheen, while the boiler is flat. The metallic gray paint on the smoke box and firebox has a slight orange peel texture, but it's not too noticeable from normal viewing distances. The lettering is crisp and all the small writing is legible with magnification. Some of the plumbing under the walkways on the engine is separately applied, but much of it is molded on. The handrails are also molded as part of the boiler. Many other modern N-scale steam engines have freestanding handrails. I like the delicate look of the side rods. The front of the model has a boiler tube pilot with a molded on uncoupling lever. The front coupler on my example was broken when I opened the box. I had another of these models that I returned because it was defective, and it also had a broken front coupler. The rear of the tender has a molded on uncoupling lever and footboards. The knuckle coupler is mounted too high according to the microtrain's height gauge. The backup light is not functional. The top of the engine has some freestanding details in front of the cab. The tender has good hatch detail. The flexible plastic handrail should withstand normal handling. The underside of the tender has freestanding brake components. Each tender truck only picks up power from one rail. Most other modern N-scale steam engine tender trucks pick up power from both sides. The locomotive picks up power from all eight drive wheels, though pickup is poor on the fourth driver set which has traction tires. The pilot and trailing trucks are not used for power pickup. All of the drivers are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge, but a few of the other wheel sets on the engine and tender are narrow. The locomotive and tender are connected by a semi-permanent drawbar with attached wires. The drawbar on my example is not connected inside the tender, so the wires are the only thing holding the two together. The drawbar looks like it should snap over something inside the tender, but it doesn't work. This defect was also present on the other model that I returned. The locomotive and tender together weigh 4.1 ounces. I measured 2.1 ounces of drawbar pull on my force gauge. I'm running the model on DC. The model runs pretty smooth and has good low speed capability, although it is pretty noisy. I'll hold it so we can take a look at the lights. The light is very dim and too orange. The top of the tender lifts off, and as you can see, the orange and gray wires from the motor are already separated. So if you wanted to install DCC, you could just disconnect them from the track power and then wire your decoder in here. So that's kind of a nice thing. This little black thing is actually the post that should engage the drawbar from the engine, but it's sheared off. This is a nice looking model of a workhorse locomotive that runs reasonably well. The model unfortunately is not quite up to the state of the art for N-scale steam. This is not a cheap model, and it lacks some of the detail and features found in other similarly priced N-scale steam engines. I'm going to take a spike for that. I'm going to take a spike for the broken front coupler. I'm going to take a spike for the defective drawbar. I'm taking another spike for the coupler height on the tender, and I'm taking a spike for the out-of-gauge wheels. My final verdict is 5 out of 10 spikes.